Next, let's talk about fish. Fish are ectothermic. This means that their body temperature changes as the surrounding water temperature changes. For most fish, their body temperature remains very close to the temperature of their water habitat. Because temperature has such a great effect on fish, different species have different water temperature preferences. Some species prefer warmer water than others. As a result, most Texas species are warm water fish because most of Texas's waters are warm. As you go even farther south toward the equator, fish that live there prefer even warmer water. Fish have many of the same internal organs as humans and other mammals. They have a heart to pump blood, intestines and stomach to digest food, kidneys, a liver, a gallbladder, and a spleen. A physiological adaptation found in fish that enables some fish species to live in fresh water and others to live in salt water is called osmoregulation. This is where fish regulate their intake of salt water or fresh water to keep their fluids, such as blood, from becoming too salty or too dilute. Fish living in salt water have internal fluids lower in salts than the water in which they live. These fish must drink large amounts of salt water and excrete small amounts of fluids while they actively secrete high amounts of salts through their gills. Fish in freshwater have higher body fluid salt concentrations than the surrounding freshwater, causing them to excrete large volumes of low salt content fluids and take up salts through their gills. Some species are able to adapt to a wide range of salinities. Fish that can live in freshwater, brackish, and salt water are called urihaline. Examples of common urihaline aquatic species in Texas are red drum and blue crab. Fish have some organisms that we don't have that allow them to live in the water. For example, instead of lungs, fish have gills. Gills contain capillaries, these are fine blood vessels. These gills contain capillaries that take up dissolved oxygen and release carbon dioxide. This occurs as water enters through the fish's mouth, passes over the gills, and exits from the fish. In clean, moving water, a fish can absorb up to 85% of the dissolved oxygen available in well-oxygenated water. Fish and amphibians are the only vertebrates, vertebrate being an animal with a background, fish and amphibians are the only vertebrates that are able to live their entire lives completely submerged in water.